shit, that was hot. Woo! My voice is killing me. Last night was <clears throat> good. Let's go. <laughs> I uh, had a birthday party last night, so I may have a raspy voice for this trip, but I'm heading away. Yes. I have Matt and Bailey together with their Hilux and myself with the GQ. We are going to <clears throat> Nuji Threshold Bridge first up. We're going to meet up with Sean and a friend Poz who are already out camping because uh, I didn't get, get a chance to go out last night. We're just going to try and find this hut that we stayed at and then um, from there do some tracks and wherever uh, I guess it takes us because I don't have the trailer. So we're just swagging it this weekend. So it's going to be a bit of fun, a bit of mud and a bit of ruts and hopefully, fingers crossed, no winch because Matt does not have a winch. I do have a uh, snatch strap. But yeah, it's this weekend, it's just four-wheel driving. Finally, get to go out. Car is running. About time. Got my chai latte and we are ready to go. It's been forever since I've actually been able to take the car out. Like my last video, I just had lots of things going on. Um, just trying to start a business and photography and videography. Uh, the car was, wasn't broken, it was just had some uh, little issues that we needed to sort out and um, yeah this weekend it's just a long weekend so it's really the only times I'm able to sort of get away uh, we do try and plan like in advance a couple of day trips I know on the 20th uh, uh, this month we're going to the Gippslands um, to uh, help out the, uh, the, the, I guess where the big fires were we're going to try and put some money back into um, local towns and stuff and and buy, and buy like uh, just food and just I'm gonna have to turn it off for one sec. So yeah, just buying food and uh, just anything, just trying to put some money back into I guess the, the local town that were affected from bushfires. I thought it would be a good idea to go out with the crew and I guess just see what happened and understand how bad the fires were. We, we can only see so, so, so much on it. On TV, yeah, we're going to see what happened on TV, and to see it firsthand is, is going to be very interesting. So that spot was just really close to um, near a main town. Um, I've always wanted to just go there and just there's a really nice picnic bench, looks over um, the farmlands and just the hills, and I just want to sit there and just. I may be something to eat there. It's just, it looks like an awesome spot just to, just to chill out. Um, but every time we come through, it's always we're going a different direction or we're late or I guess not on time. But um, yeah, there's a couple of awesome spots if you get the chance when you come out near them. Um, as you're going towards uh, Borbor, just take your time coming through because they're awesome. They're just beautiful, just picturesque. Spots everywhere. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's some really weird low cloud cover. I think we're about to go through it. it might be a bit of fog, but it's just super weird because it's like in one spot. Yeah, look, coming over this hill. You can just see it. I think we're about to go into it now. Yeah, how weird's that? So we just stopped off at this pretty cool, like, I guess, stopover. Um, it tells you, I guess, where everything is. And uh, this is here. Go to New South Wales Rocks on Facebook. Post a photo. Rehide or keep. That's cool. Let's uh, check that out. New South uh, Wales Rocks on Facebook.
Um, this is where we, uh, it's the second stop, sorry. We stopped before. But um, we're just heading up to Nuji Trestle Bridge. We are meeting Sean and Poz. Uh, and then, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever, wherever the track takes us, I guess. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for Sean. I said to Sean to meet us about 9.30. We're just gonna walk across the bridge, take some photos, look around, do the touristy thing, um, and then we're hitting tracks from there. I'm hoping they found uh, where we're staying, or maybe staying. But yeah, just gonna chill out for the moment. I'm actually seriously surprised there's not more people down here as it is a long weekend. Um, last time I came here, it was packed. Um, we were just lucky enough that everyone was leaving. Um, I guess it is still early, but yeah, we saw, what, one car? Oh, that's well, better for us. But um, I think the boys are going down the, uh, the worst track. It's super slippery, so I hope they don't fall over. <laughs> So we've moved on, um, something's happened to Sean's dog, hopefully Hunter is okay. Uh, we got reception for a bit and now we're heading into the first track. I have no idea exactly where we're going because uh, my GPS system has shit itself. Um, I do have maps um, that I bought not long ago, so Matt is uh, in the lead at the moment, his uh, GPS is working. And then we're just gonna keep following this track and see if it leads us to where we're supposed to be going. Ooh, it's not good. So we're about five minutes in. Uh, Matt has told me to pull over and check something. Nice, mad clicking noise in the CV of Matt's car. Uh, sweet. So I said to Matt, I'll sit behind, tell him to go somewhat slow um, we'll take our time through this it's slippery but it's not bad um, and if he needs I'll have to uh, winch him out but it's, it's still a truck it's a bit slippery um, yeah see how we go this track is so overgrown I don't know if we're even entering the right one yet Fuck me. Try it, go up on, holy shit, that's a fucking deep hole. I think this is the wrong side. I definitely think this is the wrong side. <laughs> Oops. Um, how the fuck did he cross? I'm not fucking jumping that. How deep? Oh, that's fucking deep. Yeah. If you get stuck, I'll pull you out. What's the other side like? How the fuck did you get across? What the fuck did you do? Nope. Did you get it? How soft is soft? No. Well, like, 
I'm scraping the mud. You can see where it. And then it goes. Uh, right. What do you think, Matty? I'm gonna give it a crack and see what happens. <laughs> red old crack, you're gonna have to. I don't think this is the right track. I think this is the wrong track. Um, I think we're on the opposite side of the track we're supposed to be on. Matt's first, so. Don't worry about this part. Oops. Oops. Put a snatch strap on the back of your car. Mm -hmm. um, put a strap on. We'll put the strap in the tub. I think I have to get up there, don't we? Check out this way. To do it barefoot and no pants on. Just in case I've got to jump out. Oh, I'll have all the side. I'll be able to reach well, it. Well, you can either. So, like I was saying, I've got a feeling this is not the right track. And Matt is going to attempt this and it's soft. So Matt is about to attempt the second one. Hang on. Yeah, Matty? What are you trying to do here? The wall? Yeah. Just trying to stick to the Yep. Stick to one side. Um, if you feel like you're bulging down, stop. Reverse up. Go from there. Yep. Give it another shot. And if you think that it's too soft, um, I'll pull you oh, If you can get out, just reverse down and we'll go somewhere else. Alright. Yeah, that was before my CV busted. It's not busted yet, but yeah. <laughs> so this, this might do it. Yeah, maybe. Bailey's getting the second shot, snapping some trees off for us. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's my swag bag. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit wet, but it's not wet, wet. Wind windows up. Yes, very good, Matt. Oh, this is, doesn't look good. When you're comfortable. Is he good? Sure is, man. Fuck this thing. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Give it some, give it some, give it some.
inches later. Stop. Stop, Matty. Stop. You're what? Done. You're done. Get the snatch, the snatch up out. <laughs> Keep the car running too. Don't turn it off. Bailey! Get me out. My car is filling up. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Ba Oi, Bailey! Come through. I need to get the snatch up. So for all you guys watching at home, Matt's car actually filled up with water. Yeah, I didn't uh, video it because I think Matt was a bit pissed off and I'm a bit pissed off as well because like, I said it was okay, it wasn't okay. Um, what the fuck was that? Take it out of four wheel drive. Um, yeah, so I think my TV just went. Yeah, I think so as well. So yeah, awesome. Now we uh sounds like we've got a pop C V, so I'm gonna go to check that. Ah. Here's your problem. That came out. Oh yeah, and this too. Fuck! find a camp so I'm definitely just gonna go for a run and then somewhere and yell. <laughs> Wait, do you need a microphone? Yeah. <laughs> Made me cry. <laughs> I did try to get the CV through. Um, so you get nothing in it. Because mm -hmm. there's something in that. Oh, that's the It's alright. We can fix it. <laughs> it's like fucking glued together. CVs! Where are <laughs> Actually, where are the CVs? Where's the index? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. What's the, oh, what's the name? Christ. What's the name? What are they actually called? So I've pulled the CV out. Um, it's completely obliterated. I've uh, zip tied the shaft up so nothing can get in it because uh, we're on a track that's been pretty overgrown, as you can hear. Um, I just wanted to do the right thing and put a snatch strap and drag Matty out because I don't want to make this car do any more damage to it than it already is. Um, we're not far off the main road, which is good. We're going to try and find somewhere to camp uh, and then maybe head off tomorrow morning because this is a really fucked up day in Matt's car and uh, yeah, awesome. I've got bacon or hash browns or burgers. Good job, I'll probably cook them all. Fuck it. Okay. Burgers. Bacon. So we've just stopped up at Tanjul. We're trying to figure out a way um, we can camp because Matt still wants to camp. Um, even though the CV is absolutely obliterated. Um, yeah, we've got a heap of timber. We, we, we just want to just chill out at the moment. So we might uh, go back closer to home because uh, he can't do much four-wheel driving and try and find uh, something off the track that we do. This is the main road gravel truck. 
Um, yeah. Bit of shit. It's only been even half a day. We were hoping we could find a hut like this, um, but the entrance that we were going down uh, was a steep, deep mud pit. Uh, yeah, didn't work out too well. The worst part was Matt didn't even snap it for driving. He uh, was actually turning around. So, a bit of a bummer. He's literally got everything airing out because his whole car was flooded. We just went to the Nuji pub. Uh, just trying to figure out where we wanted to go, I guess. Uh, we sort of figured out we were going to go to Blue Rock Dam. We realised it was maybe a bit too far because I didn't want to push Matt's car going into any trucks. We're heading to hopefully find a camp spot and then we're just going to do nothing. We're just, we're just so tired and we just had nothing today and it was just an uneventful day. Just, yeah, well, it didn't work out. No good. Didn't get to do what we wanted to do and we're just going to chill out. We finally oh, made it. We made it. After all that bullshit, we found a spot. We're actually in uh, near him. Got a fire going. It's not the best. We're all set up. I think we just had enough. Matt's car should make it back. <laughs> well, it's going to have to. Yep, yeah, I think we're settled for tonight. So I've just woken up. Um, everything's packed and ready. I think we're just going to head off home today. Um, I bought a new sleeping bag. It was so good. It was absolutely freezing cold last night. Um, and I'm pretty sure this sleeping bag's rated to like minus six or eight or something like that. And um, it was actually such a, a nice sleep. It had a, a little bit of rustling in the trees, a little bit of a breeze, and. Uh, was super cold, but uh, it was good. Not sleep. And I, I woke up and I'm backed up, and I think it's still. Early. I think it's about 8:30. But keen to get home. I think we're just over over this uh, this trip. Bit shit. Didn't get to do the tracks we want to do, but hey, that's forward driving. So yeah, this uh, this trip is a uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, we have Easter coming up, which I think we're doing a trip. Um, and then on top of that. I have two more trips coming up. Um, the 20th of this month, we're going to try and put together a crew and go to the Gippslands and uh, try and help the community by putting some money back into the community. So a group, or I guess the Wampa crew, are all going out to um, stay in Gippslands. And um, we're in the Gippslands, I think it's it. we're going to the Glass House and we're going to put some money back into the community, trying to help out those who are affected by the bushfires. So that's one trip. Uh, Easter is the next, and then the one after that will be uh, the 18th of April, I'm pretty sure. And that's going to Harkla. I'm catching up with the Overland Bound crew. They are the Victorian crew. Um, they've decided to do a, an event. Um, Overland Bound is a big worldwide community of uh, overlanding so any type of car that can take you to a place that you can't normally go in a car um, and there's a small crew in Victoria is run and we're going to meet up yeah so got some cool things going up and then I'm just going to try and figure out if I can get some videos happening because I'm going overseas but with this virus so we do have some big plans coming up in the next couple of weeks with four wheel driving and the car itself uh, we're going to look at putting that turbo on. Um, everything's ready. The car seems to be running pretty well now. And then it's just uh, money. The money situation. Um, lots of us all have that situation where they want to do stuff and they can't do it because they don't have the money. But um, 
we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully some major changes to the car, so keep your eye out on that one. Ten cent piece for the actual budget. Oh my god! Ah. <laughs>